Okay, guys. Now we are at part three, final part of lecture two. So um, in many um, occasion, we don't know how we how we wound those coil together in a magnetic structure. For example, if they are inside an enclosure and say a box, and you cannot open the box. Uh, but we need to to know whether the induced voltage is positive or negative on one point. Okay. So we we need to tell people. We need to to let people know uh, if that voltage is positive or negative by using a dot marking convention. Okay. So it's very simple for this in convention. Uh, just read the, the red text here. A current I entering a dotted terminal in one winding will induce a voltage of value M di by dt with positive polarity at the dotted terminal on the other winding. Okay? There are two kind of problems you may have here. First, they give you the structure of the, the, the magnetic uh, circuit like the coil, how they wind, the, how they wound the, the coil, and then how they um, they put the coils together. What kind of material and the size, and if we have any air gap, and then we have to decide uh, how we put the dots. Okay, and the second kind of problem is. You are given the dot marking, so you know the dot on both coil, and we need to write the equation. Okay, so for the first part, uh, we have a procedure that you can follow. It's a six step, as you can see here, a procedure. Okay, or in practice, we can apply a an easier approach. So we can have two coil and you will mark the dot on one coil arbitrarily. So you just put one dot here. So if there's only two options, okay? You may have the dot here or the dot here. And you only need to find out whether it's on the, the top or the bottom terminal of the second coil. So we will put a simple circuit, a, a battery, small battery with some resistor and a switch. And uh, on the second um, coil, you put a, a voltmeter. The needle, the voltmeter with needle is better than the, the digital uh, voltmeter. Okay, so you will know that uh, that voltmeter will have a plus terminal and a minus terminal. Okay, now you close the switch. If you see the needle is kicking up, it means in the positive direction in the voltmeter, then the dot on the other coils is on the plus side of the voltmeter on my circuit here, which be it will be on the top terminal. Otherwise, if you have downscale momentary deflection in the voltmeter, then the dot will be on the minus side or the bottom side on my picture here, on my uh, circuit here. Okay. The second kind of problem is how to write equation when you have mutual inductance or mutually coupled coils. Okay. For example, on this circuit. Okay. We remember the rule: reference current enter a dot terminal and the induced voltage in the other coil is positive at the dot terminal. Okay? Uh, this circuit is kind of easy, so I'm going to skip it and I will work on the, the, the second example, example 3.6, which is a bit harder. Okay? We need to write a loop equation for a circuit with mutual curved coil and we assume the zero initial voltage on capacitor okay so basically here you have already remember when you write this equation uh, they are only valid for the set direction 
of the current here. Okay, you have to choose the current direction first. So I1 going this way, I2 going this way, and you have two loop here. So you can write two loop equation, the first loop, the second loop. 